Let's start talking about constitutional law and Australian constitutional law in particular. And to do that, what I'd like to do is to provide a framework for us to better understand Australian constitutional law. And to me, if you look at Australian constitutional law, you will recognize four key elements of Australian constitutional law. One of them is the idea of a constitution as paramount law and constitutionalism as represented by the idea of principles of legality and rule of law. There's also the element of a separation of powers. So a separation of powers uh, between the executive, parliament, and judiciary, which leads to the issue of responsible government, representative government, and judicial and non-judicial powers, which we will discuss uh, in greater detail throughout the course, but which I'll be uh, speaking about in a short while as well. The third element is the issue of federalism or federal-state relations, and that's a question of uh, what head of power, for example, does uh, is Parliament using in exercising its power to legislate in areas such as trade, commerce, and industrial relations, or issues of taxation, appropriation, and spending, and defense and external affairs, which to an extent will conflict with the right of states as well to exercise their own powers in those areas. So that's, uh, you know, the issue of federalism. The issue of federalism, for example, uh, is unique to uh, countries such as Australia and uh, India in the sense that you have, you know, an issue of federalism and also in the U.S. where you have federal and state relations. Because in other countries which are very unitary, such as New Zealand or, for example, the Philippines, you don't have uh, a federalism or a commonwealth of states. So all power is wielded by a single unitary uh, body. And that creates some complexity. If you talk about federalism, then you know that creates complexity, especially if you go back now to the history of Australia. And we will dis try to discuss that in a short while. The fourth element is the issue of rights and freedoms of people, or the subjects of, of, a, of a government or of a state. And so if you look at these four elements, it gives you a sense that it's actually, to a great extent, all about power. So the Constitution, especially if it is a paramount law, and the idea of constitutionalism, its desire, it is designed to actually set rules that set constraints and limits to the powers of government. It also defines relationships of government or the different institutions of government, and in doing so, also assigns them uh, separate spheres of power. When you talk about, for example, federalism and uh, the issue of federal-state relations, again, it's about powers of the state versus the federal government. And obviously, if you look at rights and freedoms, it's about the powers of government intruding into the rights and freedoms of people. So going by the uh, definition of Hanks, Gordon, and Hill, we can see that uh, the constitutional law is concerned with the ways in which the power of the state is institutionally organized and applied, with the relations between the institutions which exercise public power, and with the relations between those institutions and other social interests. In the next video, we will go deeper into these four key elements as part of an introduction to Australian constitutional law.